Hey, Aaron, how you doing? I'm doing great. Surviving the quarantine. How you doing, Zach? I'm doing well. How uh, I'm here on the uh, the Beyond the Tap set at the studio. Uh, where where are you at? I'm coming to you from Wagner, Oklahoma, specifically the uh, animal clinic of Wagner. It's my dad's vet clinic. It's a great example of a small business that's making adjustments to get through this. Come on in, Dad. This is Dr. Peters. we got a little rabbit here that is in for a neuter. You don't think about rabbits. You think about dogs and cats getting spayed and neutered, but these rabbits need that too. And, you know, it's a lot, a lot has changed for vet clinics. They have to do it through the drive through so we're good with the rabbit, Dad. But it's a, it's a great example of just making adjustments and getting creative. And I know a lot of businesses in northwest Arkansas are doing the same, Zach. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, supporting small business is important year-round. But, you know, I think right now we're finding that it's it's more important than ever to, than to be out, uh, support your small business, whether that be buying gift cards or ordering online um, for those that can or ordering takeout. And so, you know, here at Northwest Arkansas Live, that's our purpose year-round is supporting small business. And so uh, we're going to continue to do that during this pandemic. And obviously, we can't be out creating content the way we typically do, filming in people's businesses and in their restaurants, uh, even in their homes sometimes, right, or on the golf course with them. That's difficult now. Um, and so what we're going to do is, is start looking at the things we've already shot, the businesses we've already visited, the local businesses that, you know, have already been on our show. Those are the ones right now that really need the hand and really need help. Um, and need to get their message out of how they're serving the community. And so we're going to be setting up online interviews and uh, online Skype chats and Zoom calls um, with you and some of our other hosts, with those local chefs, those local business owners, um, talking about what they're doing, how they're serving the community, and how they're stepping up to the plate um, to continue to run their business. And so uh, that's kind of our plan moving forward. Yeah, and that that's, fits perfectly with us because that gives us extra passion for this because that's the businesses that we've been featuring on our show are the local small businesses that really need help right now. I've noticed that it's those businesses that are getting extra creative to survive, and I can't wait to do our small part to try and help, Zach. Absolutely. I think everybody's pivoting, and, and we're going to do our part to do the same. So um, we'll be scheduling interviews for you, and, and be ready. All right. I'm going to go play with some rabbits and some other animals, so I'll see you later. Presented by Nunnally Chevrolet, the driving force of Northwest Arkansas. So when you think of fine dining, you may think of LA, New York, Bentonville. Here we are at Barclita to try some of the fine dining they're bringing to Northwest Arkansas. with chef owner Trey Basor. Trey, thanks for joining us. Yeah, pleasure. Good to have you. Now, as I understand it, you're a local guy. You're from this area, is that right? I am, born in Fayetteville, grew nice. up in Bella Vista, graduated from Bentonville. And I know that the name of your restaurant, Barclita, has a little bit of a family tie as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's my great grandmommy. She's from Bearville. Awesome. Um, her name was Cleta, obviously. And uh, we thought it'd be funny. She never drank alcohol. Right. So naming a restaurant Bar Cleta. Perfect. Is, is kind of humorous. For us. So she'd be proud. She'd be proud, yeah. I think so. <laughs> I mean, you all have obviously done a wonderful job. You and your wife, Weezy. I mean, it's I love the husband wife duo that you guys have going on here. It's a family affair. Yeah. Um, so far, it's been good. Um, we've never worked together before, so this was our, our first uh, go at it. Yeah. So far, so good. I'm still married. How much are you up here? Because I'm a chef too, and I understand the life, but. You know it really I mean, well. A lot. Yeah. Um, it's a labor of love. Yep. You know, no one gets in this industry to become rich. That's true. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I just love hospitality. I love being able to be a part of someone's special occasion. And your space is so beautiful. So you're oh, here in you. the corner, right across from the Preacher's Sun, Undercroft, you know, downtown Bentonville, very walkable. I love the way that you all have designed and decorated in here as well, by the way. It just feels I'm very take like zero light. Credit for that. That 100% <laughs> totally her. Yes. Now, as far as your design, you're talking about the menu here. You're all into hyper seasonality. So talk to me about that and what that is, because for a lot of our viewers, they may not have heard this term. We print our menus whenever we need to. You know, seasons don't happen 
four times a year. There's micro seasons between mm -hmm. that. You're right. So there's fava beans and fava beans might only be good for three weeks. So then we'll do a fava bean dish for three weeks and then we'll move on to something else. That, that's perfect. Um, so the menu constantly changes. We do have about three dishes um, on our menu that stay the same, just because it, you know it gives people something that they can always come back for. Exactly. No one else in, is doing this type of food like you are doing in Northwest Arkansas, which is why it's just really important that people get to see your food. Kind of our goal was to have small plates mm -hmm. and get some of these luxury items, right? But do it in a fashion where it's affordable. So right. if someone's never tried foie gras before mm -hmm. or caviar, but they don't have to max out their credit card exactly. to do it, and yeah. they might not like it. So yeah, we, we're really trying to to give people something that they might not normally be able to have. Our staff has become very good at guiding guests through the menu. Mm -hmm. So That's it great. might seem a little bit intimidating yeah. sometimes. Gotcha. But lean on our, our wait staff because Perfect. they you know they do a phenomenal job guiding our guests through and answering any questions they have and really, you know, creating the experience. So Chef Trey, all this talk about this food is making me hungry. Let's get in the kitchen and see what's cooking. Let's do it. Okay. Well, chef, what are we doing today? Yeah, so we're gonna cook uh, our hen of the wood mushroom dish. So I got these beautiful uh, hen of the woods right here, and we're gonna serve it with uh, some whip ricotta that we have folded some black truffles in Perfect. that came from Italy. And then we're gonna have this beautiful salad of fien herbs, and we're gonna shave black truffle on it. Nice. And then our house-made foie gras torchon, we're gonna shave some foie gras right on top. Love so that. very decadent. I love it, Chef. That looks absolutely incredible. I think Thanks. we might have to try it, possibly. Yeah, let's get in there. Okay. Here we are in the bar with proprietor, Lucy Bessort. I think you have a special cocktail for us that might go really well with what Chef Trey has made. It's called Forefathers. It's an old fashioned, essentially, but it's got a sweet tea, oleo saccharum. Perfect, let's yeah. see it in action. Okay, so we're gonna start with a heaping bar spoon of our sweet tea, oleo saccharum syrup. Those were peach bitters. I just dropped a couple dashes in. And then we have two ounces of bourbon. We're using Evan Williams 1783. So we're just gonna give this a quick stir. So we're gonna finish this off with a lemon twist. It's just a scented and it's just to wake the oils up, essentially. I can smell it all the way over can here. You smell it? Yeah, yeah, it smells, it smells amazing. <laughs> it smells so refreshing. It does, yeah. yeah. You'll have to give it a try. Well, if you don't mind, I'm gonna take this to the table and try the dish that Chef has prepared for us. Sounds good, enjoy. Okay. So whether you're getting delicious food or a fantastic drink, Barclay is the place to be in Bentonville. I'm Gan Nunley at George Nunley Chevrolet in Bentonville. For over 30 years, our family-owned dealership has helped our community find new roads and new trails to the amazing places that make Northwest Arkansas the greatest place on earth. And now in cooperation with Bike NWA, Nunley Chevrolet has created an exclusive edition of Austrail's pickups and SUVs for the cyclist and outdoor enthusiast. There's never been a better time to enjoy the incredible Ozark Playground. Check out Nunley's all new Austrail's edition exclusively at JustTryMe.com or come by our dealership in Bentonville to find out more.
Well, first of all, before we go any farther, let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. Come on. Like, we're just like, all right. Oh. What is your most embarrassing drinking story? <laughs> I'm really happy to have wow. friends that are making beers. Cheers. Hey, Weezy. Hey, Trey. Hey, what's hey. going on? Not much. How are you guys? Doing well. Good. Glad Fantastic. to see you guys again. You yeah, too. Likewise. Yeah, how are you guys doing? Doing pretty well, you know, just trying to stay busy and also relax at the same time. It's kind of a different time we're in here in, during COVID, so. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. yeah, it feels like it's been years since we've been to your restaurant. It feels like it was. I know, yeah. it does. Sure. Every day just blends together. I know, I kind of miss your restaurant. In fact, I miss restaurants in general, going in to dine in. I miss the atmosphere. Yeah, I know. Us as well. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys missing your customers these days? Yeah, yeah missing our guests for sure. Um, really just interaction with people all together, I think, uh, you know, it's fair to say that um, we're missing. But yeah, I mean, we're in the business of hospitality and um, there's no way for us to be hospitable. So it's kind of uh, rough. Yeah. Luckily, a lot of our regulars because they've been so supportive, just getting takeaway or delivery curbside. So we actually do get to catch up in a very socially distanced way, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, at least maybe once a week, which is great. Totally. So what other things do you guys have in place right now during this time? Are you guys doing any sort of delivery or t are you, like you said, you were doing the pickup where people can do the takeaway, that sort of thing. Are you doing a special menu? Yeah. I mean, it switches up often. Um, so we post on Facebook and Instagram every day. Um, we've kind of been focusing on doing a specific theme for dinner for two. Um, sometimes it's dinner for two with leftovers or enough to feed four people. Wow. Um, and then we rotate some a la carte things. Um, so yeah, it's been changed up today. We have like four or two different four, two items. We have a steak frites. Ooh. We have uh, like homemade ricotta meatballs with like creamy polenta. Oh my gosh. That's yeah, amazing. We, just, we switch it up often. Okay. Okay. Have you had to make some changes then Trey and Weezy to your menu to accommodate COVID-19, you know, that sort of takeout idea? Yes. Um, definitely more like, home style cooking like obviously we're kind of a more fine dining type restaurant yeah. with the small plates and things like that um so really just trying to to focus on what what families can eat things that um are very i guess not normal but like iconic accessible. and more yeah. travel safe you know i yes. think normally our food is really meant to be consumed at the um, restaurant at the, at the restaurant you know yes. minutes that it leaves the kitchen Yes. You know, it starts getting different flavor profiles and things like that. So, you know, like I said, steak frites, uh, you know, we did a bolognese. Yeah. Uh, we did a roasted brisket, things like that. Mm -hmm. That's very familiar with people is kind of what we've been focusing on. Basically things that like I would cook at home. Sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Trey's kind of having fun with too. Not that he mm -hmm. doesn't really have fun in the kitchen, but it's, you know, like doing like a curry burst. Yeah, we did a curry worst. Like Ooh, yes. And a lot of people, you know, we have a lot of regulars that um, are from abroad, from England and from Australia that are used to eating that. And like, I think the first day we did curry worst, like the phone was just blown yeah, up. It's like, oh that. my God, I haven't had curry worst since I moved away from, yeah. you know, London or from Australia. So people were really stoked about that. Which was okay. Nice. So obviously people are seeing this through maybe your social media. Is that how people are finding out what you're doing, the new specials, that sort of thing? Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. We yeah, post we every day, at least before too. Yeah, we post every day and um, we try to change the menu up like at least once a week just to keep it kind of fresh. Um, just because yeah. we don't offer a ton of stuff. Sure. Um, so but yeah. you want to do it well. And you guys do food so well. I mean, I would take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich from you guys. <laughs> I know it would be the most gourmet one I've ever had. So, I mean, just taking even like common foods that people are used to and making it palatable for the families, like what you do is you do so well. And so I feel like people really should be hitting up your restaurant. I'm, I'm sorry about this going on right now. I know it's hard on all of us in the restaurant industry. And I know you guys really rely on that, that walk-in traffic versus like a takeaway or a pickup or anything like that. So yeah, yeah. it sounds like you guys are trying to stay positive and like keep up the spirits. Um, any unusual home activities you guys have found now that you're, are you guys home more at all or not so much? Yeah. Definitely at home. Definitely I mean, it's home nice. Um, we have a, a puppy um, <laughs> that's about nine months old, eight, nine months old. Yep. Um, so he loves what's going on right now, he loves corona. but he gets to go on walks. We take him on two walks a day, which is nice. I mean, yeah. we get to spend more quality time and not just work time together, yeah. which yeah. is sometimes a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, but yeah, yeah, are you, you to stay busy, you know? Yeah. Totally. 
we're bad because we are so used to working like go, 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 10, 12 yes. hours a day, you know, and there's always something that we're focused on doing. If we complete one task, then we're on to the next, you know, like it, all the same kind of perils of running your own business. But sure. now that we're home, it's like, oh, I haven't read a book in like six months. I should probably same. do that, you know, like yeah. now we can work on our garden and get our tomatoes ready and our mm -hmm. uh, peppers ready. And like living in Northwest Arkansas, we're just we, you know, we were, we were so in the zone of getting our restaurant and business up and running the last, you know, nine, 10, however many months we've been at yeah. this. Yeah. Um, we've like, and we just had moved back to Arkansas like about a year before that. And it was like, holy crap, like the trails around here, the nature. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm born and raised here and I've been mm -hmm. on some trails that I didn't even know existed that awesome. I used to like, just yeah. walk around in the woods when I was a kid. And now there's these beautiful trails. Yeah. So it's been nice to be able to see, you know, how different the community is from the yeah. last time I lived here. Yeah. Um, we rode bikes. Yeah. We rode bikes. Got, like, a bicycle for the first <laughs> I mean, years. we were in New York for over a decade and it's like, you never, I never rode a bike. So really? it really was a testament to like the whole expression of like, it's just like riding a bike. We really were worried. Like, Way we got, to go guys. Yeah, guys to y'all. Like, Here are the gears. And I was like, what's a gear? Like, <laughs> I know. Right. Like uh, the last no. time I did a break, it was pedaling backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm, well, that's awesome. I mean, there's a lot of things that are the beautiful things of, you know, being isolated like this and what it allows us to do. But I know that, you know, it's important to try to stay busy and try to figure out, out things. Do you guys, do you guys see any other things coming down the pike for you as a restaurant or is it kind of like touch and go right now? We're trying to just kind of like do it one day at a time. One day at a time. I mean, who knows how long this thing is going to go for mm -hmm. um it's just trying to do what we can to survive so when yep. it's time to open the doors we have doors to open yeah um, totally to i gotcha take care of our staff yeah and thank you everyone you know all gratuities are going to them and then we're taking a top line percentage of all sales and dividing it evenly between our employees wow um, in front of those employees aren't even coming to work so it's just it's anything that we can do to give to them um, because they've got families to support, they've got bills. Um, so yeah, we're just really trying our hardest to, to take care of them. Yeah. And that's you know, my heart. Obviously everyone is flooding unemployment right now and yeah. that's really difficult for everybody. So we're just trying to do our part for them. Obviously yeah. pay bills as much as we can. Yeah. Um, you know, taking advantage of some of the loans that have come through, but of course those are also flooded and, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. just, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of programs, but it just, there's so much demand. So yes, it's been difficult trying to get through, but you know, we're working on it. So absolutely. Yeah. I have a friend that's in the banking industry and he mentioned that he's been flooded. I mean, he was looking at the applications. It's a Northwest Arkansas loan for the business loan one. And his, it's almost like hit some of the their max, like their criteria, like what they already thought, you know, would happen in a few weeks has happened in a few days, that sort of thing. So yeah. I think that's wonderful. You guys are taking care of your staff. A lot of, I, I think it's so admirable when restaurants are doing that because I know how hard it is in the restaurant industry, even as it is on your mm -hmm. own. So I really admire, I mean, you guys are phenomenal entrepreneurs and um, what can we do at, here at Northwest Arkansas Alive to help support you guys in your restaurant? Um, I mean, just kind of spreading the word that we are doing takeaway, like obviously all of our social media channels, um, Facebook and Instagram has everything updated daily. Okay. Also just to kind of pay it forward too. you know, there's a lot of folks who are lucky and still can work from home mm -hmm. and you know, we can't all die now. Like just being able to like, you know, get takeaway from our local shops. Like we yeah. try to go to Onyx coffee every day. We go to mm -hmm. oven and tap and get we try to, out, we, we try to get you know? food from every local place that we possibly can. Yeah. And yeah. On occasion we decide not to cook. Um, and you know, I think a, a big thing that we need to do as a community, um, is let people know when this thing is over and restaurants do open the doors, but we're there and, and please come, you yes, know, it's yes. not like when, when they lift the, the social distancing ban, the restaurants are going to be the, the way that they were when they shut down. You know, I think it's exactly. going to be a slow, slow burn, but just to really think like when this thing gets done with go and visit your favorite restaurant, even yes. by gift certificates, because gift certificates can help restaurants out now to pay bills. And yes. then hopefully don't use that gift certificate as soon as the doors reopen, wait a few months so they can get a revenue stream going good and call. then everything will start building upon each other. Trey, I love that idea. That's a good idea. Barclay to gift certificates available that we can get on your Facebook or social pages or yeah, call you. you can tell us directly. I mean, we, we kind of do it um, like more old school. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have like a card or anything. We just, we issue them um, 
per certificate. Um, mm -hmm. One other thing I was going to say too, is like, I think a lot of people don't realize like differentiating between like a small business between like a bigger business, like mm -hmm. being able to say like, oh, we would love to go to that restaurant because we know who owns it. You know, mm -hmm. we would love to go to that bakery because we know the people that own it. Like just trying to frequent places that actually really, really may or may not survive this. Like I think mm -hmm. that's really we've been trying to get our staff to really understand that too, just to make sure that they're really trying to pay it forward. Right, you know? right. Like if you like this restaurant, you like these people that run it, make sure that you give them the business and don't just talk about it, you know, go there, go there. Yeah. And supporting Absolutely. like small businesses versus like chains, you know, just like trying to support where you can, yeah. but most importantly, focusing on the local and small businesses. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. And I love that we support local. I mean, that's what we're all about at Northwest Arkansas Alive. Yeah. We want to celebrate what local people that are doing, what, what local people are doing here in the Ozarks. And so we, we love what you guys do. Thank you. you know, it's, you're doing a phenomenal job and I believe in you guys and you. Um, I will try to order some food soon. I mean, ah. gosh, if I'd known you were doing steak frites, I mean, yeah. is that what's going on tonight? You're still going to have some available tonight, Trey? Or yeah, we have, well, we yeah. have a few steaks left, steaks for two, okay. and then uh, we're rolling out the ricotta meatballs tonight. Yeah, that and sounds amazing. I tried them yesterday. They're pretty freaking amazing. Really? I meatballs and like, it's kind of hard to impress me and I have to say he totally impressed me. So. Totally, totally. This girl's got it. Now, yeah. are you guys doing any? Are you guys going to do any drinks and any anything can be carried yeah. out there? How so, does that work? Yeah, so we're doing wine to go, which is okay. like a, um, something that obviously Arkansas has been given the um, legislation to do temporarily, mm -hmm. which is great. Um, and we do offer some really kind of off kilter wines, which is great. You know, we just had someone reach out today and was like, "Oh my god, I had that pet nat, you know, from Ooh. you guys a couple weeks ago. Like, is it possible to get that because I can't find it anywhere else?" So yeah, yeah. I mean, like, please. All right. Ask. We have an over 130 bottle list. Um, That's amazing. Wines, we can do beers. Lisa's really good. She'll put a list on social media at okay. like certain bottles that we have, yeah. but okay. the whole list is available. Yeah. So oh, that's fantastic. For something yeah. uh, particular that's not on that small list that she puts out, mm -hmm. then just give a call and, you know, she'll walk them through the list and find something that they're really interested in. I love that. Honestly, because y'all's wine list is so well done. I mean, that rare opportunity to carry out a bottle of wine from your restaurant. This is actually a really special opportunity that people should take advantage of. This is a great experience that they can probably not have. Cause I know that you guys find a lot of wines that are, that I would never find at the local liquor store right. or a local grocery store. So yeah, yes. that's a great You're idea. The better for us. Right? Yes. <laughs> and would you be available if I wanted to order, let's say steak free, could you on the phone be like, Aaron, you need to buy this bottle of wine to go with your meal and like yep. make that pairing. Okay. I love that. That's one of the things that people don't realize you're the kind of restaurant that can offer that, that they can't get anywhere else. Well, it just goes to, we're in the business of hospitality just because yep. we're forced to do it over the phone and walk it out to your vehicle now doesn't mean that we're not going to do the best that we can. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we always expect from Barclita. I mean, that's why you guys are such a wonderful restaurant. In my opinion, one of the best in Northwest Arkansas. Thank, thank you right? very much. We appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Guys, sincerely, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, for anyone that wants or needs a nice, fresh meal, um, Barclita in mm -hmm. Bentonville. Um, and we'll be right back with more Northwest Arkansas Live. The Chevy Silverado family of pickups is a diverse line of trucks, perfect for any job. And right now, Nunley Chevrolet has more trucks and options than any other dealer in Northwest Arkansas. And with our huge selection come big discounts. Save thousands on select Silverados, our biggest selection and savings ever. We're your Silverado superstore with row after row of new 2019 and 2020 models. Go to JustTryMe.com to see more discounts and special offers. Find new roads to Nunley Chevrolet, your Silverado superstore. First of all, before we go any farther, yeah. let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. Come on. Like, we're just like, All right. Oh. 
What is your most embarrassing drinking story? <laughs> I'm really happy to have friends that are making beers. Cheers. Show us the way, kiddo. We are currently sitting at the Tweety Bird Trail here in Bella Vista on the Little Sugar portion of the trail system. It's family friendly. It's a little under two miles and it's just nice flowy for all three of us. So the Tweety Bird Trail, I think one of the benefits it has is that there's a great parking area that you can pull right in and you've got direct access to a family friendly trail. I really like going up and down like a roller coaster. Woo! So there's this great swooping berm kind of jump off the trail a little bit, stop at the lake and throw rocks. Dedicated to supporting higher education for real Arkansans, like Daviante, who went to SAU on a lottery scholarship and is now an attorney, or Allison, pursuing a degree in nursing from ASU, and Stephanie, who graduated from the Brightwater Culinary Program and now owns her own bakery. And those are just three of more than 275,000 scholarships the lottery has helped fund so far. You could be next. Apply now at scholarships.adhe.edu. This is winning. Well, first of all, before we go any farther, let's get a beer. Let's get a beer. Come on. Like, we're just like, all right. Oh. What is your most embarrassing drinking story? <laughs> I'm really happy to have friends that are making beers. Cheers. Thank you for joining us on another adventure with Northwest Arkansas Alive. Our region is full of excitement and opportunities that demonstrate why this is one of the fastest growing areas in the nation and the best place to be. We want to remind you that you can watch this episode and all of our previous episodes anywhere, anytime at nwaalive.com. And of course, we hope you'll join us next time as we pursue the people, places, and events that truly make Northwest Arkansas alive. Ah, you got my nose in that one. Hey, if you liked that episode, and I know you did, do you know we have a YouTube page? That's where you can watch our show on your phone, your smart TV, any place. So make sure and subscribe on YouTube. And what about your favorite episode? Tell us about it on Instagram or Facebook, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Also, smash that like button.